Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we have an iPod Touch 7th generation in here. Now this one was listed as a 6th gen and it was priced accordingly, but with a quick message to the seller, I was able to see that this was in fact a 7th gen and I made a quick purchase because it was about $70, which is from my experience quite a bit lower than the asking rate for 7th gen iPod Touches. So let's get this thing opened up and see what we have. Here it is, the box. Not sure why they couldn't figure out that the iPod goes up here. But let's open it up. It's not quite the same as a factory unboxing experience. But there's the iPod, and here is the documentation factory, or er, factory, product red iPod Touch, which is kind of cool. We'll put that stuff to the side. And here is the main attraction this is the product red iPod Touch. Should be a 7th gen, I guess I don't know that for sure until we power it on. Appears to be in good condition, it's kind of slimy. Everything here is a little slimy. The uh, the box was that way as well. Let me go ahead and wipe it off with some alcohol, because that's a little gross. We're going to assume that it's just some lotion, but you never know. <laughs> All right, I did notice it is a little damaged up here at the top. You can see there's quite a few dents and um, it's missing the little plastic bezel around the edge. This glass is really close to the metal. I'm surprised this didn't crack when it dropped there, but lucky for us it did not. Let's see if this thing has any charge. And it does. iPod Touch batteries are not the best, especially as they get older. Unlike iPhones, I've seen many more iPod Touches with really weak batteries. And I don't know if the 7th gen fixed that. While this is booting up, we can take a look at the lovely 5th gen over here. The non-iSight version, running iOS 6. Exact same body, minus obviously the camera. But they didn't change the uh, design from the 5th gen all the way up to the seventh gen. So let me get this set up and then we'll be right back. All right, here we go, we are at the home screen and let's make sure that this is is 7th gen. Yes, it is. iPod Touch 7th gen. iOS 15.7.6. I think that may be the most recent version for this iPod. I don't know what it originally shipped with. Maybe iOS 12. I think it's got the same processor as the iPhone 7, but slightly underclocked. Now, what I don't know is the camera on this. I don't know if it's the same as the 6th gen or if it's an upgrade. We got slow motion, but does the 6th gen have slow motion as well? Yeah, it does. If we compare, the 7th gen looks better, but maybe that's just me knowing it should be better. I don't know, what do you guys think? But the seventh gen was, uh, this was the last iPod ever sold by Apple. They discontinued it not too long ago. I actually have a sealed one of these still in the actual like brown box that came from Apple. Once I found out they were being discontinued, I went ahead and bought one. It's actually this color, it's the red one, but I think it's just a 16 gig. Or maybe it's 32. Is that the lowest? I don't, I don't know. Whatever the lowest capacity was. But this was actually... These could go all the way up to 256 gigabytes. 
making it the greatest capacity iPod that Apple ever released. Now you can you can add storage to older iPod classics, and I think you can go up to two terabytes on some of those models. But in terms of being stock from Apple, this was it. This was the last and the greatest capacity. So what I want to do, I want to download something where I can see the processor that this thing has. So let me do that and then we'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and I put Geekbench 6 on here so we can look at A10 Fusion at 1.63. What is the iPhone 7 at? I feel like it was two something. Let me check on the, uh, let's just Google it. Okay, so the iPhone 7 has a 2.34 gigahertz quad core. Or no, yeah, two used. Does it only use two of its cores? Interesting. But this is clocked at 1.6 gigahertz, so quite a bit slower, I'm sure, because of battery and thermal constraints in this thing. Interestingly, I want to point this out. If you go into settings and battery, you can actually do a battery percentage on this. This is the only iPod touch, or the only iPod ever that I'm aware of, that you can actually see the battery percentage. None of the other ones allow you to do that. If we check here, if we go to battery on the 6th gen, there's nothing. You can't even do low power mode on this thing. So that's, that's a big improvement. I wonder if, can you do the force touch gestures? Oh, you can. See, now that's kind of silly because all the older iPhones and iPods could have got this because this doesn't have a force touch screen, but it still has all the uh, the gestures where you just touch and hold. Do you guys know you can do this? Adjust the intensity of the flash. It's always a cool feature. Anyway, interestingly, if we go into settings and check the camera settings. I thought at least we could get a 60 FPS option at 1080p. I mean, the iPhone 6 could do that, and this cannot. You can't. You can't even do 4K 30 FPS, which would be really nice. Then I could, I could actually record videos on this thing. But 1080p 30 is a little limited. That reminds me. You know what I should have done? I should have recorded this video with another iPod Touch. I've had. Uh, I did some videos like that in the past where I would unbox a device and then record it with a device that is similar. Let's power up Minecraft here and see how it runs. Let me tell you, this thing is hot. Probably because I signed into my iCloud and it's uh, doing all the background stuff, but this thing is toasty. It's almost too warm to touch. It's probably not gonna do very well in Minecraft. I my guess it's going to be pretty laggy. This thing is taking so long to load that I've already started editing this video that you guys are watching on my new 5K iMac, which I bet you didn't know I had. I just got it yesterday and I'm in the process of making a video about it so you'll see that soon but I know most of you probably don't care about Mac stuff you're here for the iOS side of things but here we are Minecraft has loaded and this is pretty smooth actually this is a solid 60 FPS which you guys can't see because I record this in 30 let's see what we can turn the render distance up to Oh yeah, nine chunks. Push this thing to the limit. It's actually really smooth. This is definitely playable on here. 
A7 chip is doing favors. Although this thing is still incredibly hot, even after I turned Wi-Fi off. So it would stop doing all the background tasks involved with signing into my Apple ID. So it's struggling to render stuff. I think that is CPU based. But the looking around, the frames are, this thing is solid 60 FPS as far as I can tell. So the GPU is holding its own, but the CPU of the A10 chip is holding us back here. All right, enough of that. Anyway, probably doesn't help that I was plugged in. But that's that's been a look here at the 7th gen iPod Touch 32 gigabyte product red. Let's throw up, I love these, uh, these four are my favorite iOS wallpapers. I've actually got the same one you can kind of see back there on the iMac. I just think they look so nice. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Not a not a special version of iOS on this guy, but it was still cool to, to get a 7th gen for a really good price and add that to my collection. Now I have every single model iPod Touch. You can see three of them here. We got 5th gen, 6th gen, 7th gen, and if you watch my other videos, you know I've got a bunch of 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th gens. Too many for my own good. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.